South Louisiana Quiz Bowl Online is made possible by the generous support of these sponsors. Lapco Manufacturing, Modern Industrial Workwear. Auctioner St. Mary, get the care you need close to home. Homa Paint and Industrial Supply, proud supporter of education in the Bayou region. Hello and welcome once again to South Louisiana Quiz Bowl. We are in the elimination bracket of our junior high tournament today. Centerville Junior High here to take on Evergreen Junior High. Good luck to both teams. And in this opening rapid fire round, we are dealing with ologies. I want you to identify these studies or sciences that end in O-L-O-G-Y. Good luck. Physical, social, and cultural development of man. Tristan. Sociology. I uh, know, anthropology. Life processes of plants and animals. J. Joel. Biology. Right. The science of measuring time. Time. J. Joel. Chronology. Ah, uh, that's right. Skin and its diseases. Razi. Dermatology. That's right. The relationship between organisms and their environment. That's ecology. Study of the heart and its functions. Uh, J. Joel. Cardiology. That's right. Pseudo study of the stars and how they affect our lives. Uh, Cullen. Astrology. That's right. The study of hearing. Hearing is audiology. The atmosphere and weather conditions. Rossi. Meteorology. That's right. The study of one's ancestors and heritage. Uh, J. Joel. Ancestrology. Uh, no, genealogy. Female body functions. Cullen. Gynecology. That's correct. And that is the end of the round. I did well with that. All right, let's take a moment and let the players introduce themselves. We'll start with Centerville. Um, my name is Ella Billot. I'm in seventh grade, and I'm the, and I do softball. My name is J.J. Kiesling. I'm in seventh grade, and I like to do art. My name is Lexi Pellerin. I'm in eighth grade, and I play volleyball. My name is Clara Steiner, and other than quiz ball, I do dance. All right, Jay Joel is the team captain. Tell us about Centerville. Centerville High School, a leader in me school, is centrally located in St. Mary Parish near Bayou Tech. It is a unique school which offers its students continuous education from four years old in a pre-K program through 12th grade. All students are provided an equal opportunity to develop leadership habits, work skills, and acquire knowledge that is necessary to become productive members of society. The administration, faculty, and support staff strive to meet the needs of all students who are encouraged to participate in the various programs. We would like to thank our administrators, Ms. Christina Este, Mr. Jared Ross, and Mrs. Angela Brinkley, along with the staff and management of KWBJ and the sponsors of this program for allowing us the opportunity to complete in junior high quiz. Thank you, Jay Joel. Thank you to the faculty sponsor, Ms. Nicole Pellerin. Let's welcome back Centerville Junior High. Here are the players for Evergreen. I'm Kylie, and I like listening to Broadway music. I'm Tristan. I'm in eighth grade, and I like history. I'm Rosie. I'm in eighth grade, and I'm a Girl Scout. I'm Colin. I'm in eighth grade, and I'm in track. All right. Tristan is the captain. Tell us about Evergreen. Evergreen Junior High is located in Terrebonne Parish. Under the leadership of Dr. Gocher and her amazing administrative team, our school educates over 700 7th and 8th grade students. At EJH, we believe that success comes through organization, a good attitude, and respect. There are many extracurricular activities for our students to enjoy, including quiz bowl, beta club, 4-H, band, dance, cheer, football, basketball, soccer, volleyball, and track. We are very proud to represent our school in the quiz bowl tournament this year. Thank you, Tristan. Thank you to the faculty sponsor, Ms. Deborah Volquartz. Let's welcome back Evergreen Junior High. All right, we get back to the game with the toss-up bonus round. Start you with a two-point toss-up. I want you to spell the four-syllable P word that can mean information systematically spread to further an idea or cause. And that word is propaganda, P-R-O-P-A-G-A-N-D-A. -A -A. Two-point toss-up. Name any one of the three South American countries through which the equator passes. Uh, Tristan. Brazil. That's correct. The others are Ecuador and Colombia. Bonus question for Evergreen. Listen to this sentence. It was plain to see that the fourth plane would not go forth with its landing. 
Now for two points, spell plain as it was used first in that sentence. P-L-A-I-N. That's correct. Spell plain as it was used secondly in the sentence. P-L-A-N-E. That's correct. And spell forth as it was used secondly in the sentence. F-O-U-R-T-H. Sorry, now. Senator? Well, F-O-R-T-H. That's correct. Four for Evergreen, two for Centerville. We'll go to a two-point toss-up. In medical terminology, we often see the suffix itis, I-T-I-S, such as in tonsillitis or appendicitis. What does itis mean? It means, uh, Rosie. Disease. Sorry, no. Senator Bill? It means inflammation of. Two-point toss-up. Christopher Columbus was Italian by birth. What nation sponsored his voyages? Uh, Colin? Uh, Spain. That's correct. Bonus question for Evergreen. A graphic record of the heart's activity is made by something in the medical profession abbreviated as EKG. What is the process of electrically destroying a hair root called? You have an answer? Senator, probably should have asked these in different order, uh, but it, that, that is electrolysis. Uh, let's go back to that AKG, AK, EKG idea, Evergreen. EKG, what does EKG stand for? Senator Bill? Stands for electrocardiogram. And Evergreen, name the graphic record of the electrical impulses in the body, which is abbreviated EEG. It is electroencephalogram. No points for that. We'll pretend that never happened. <laughs> Two point toss up. The largest genus of trees, of trees in the world is native exclusively to California. I want you to name and spell this genus. Anyone? Rosie. Redwood, R-E-D-W-O-O-D. That's incorrect. Senator Bill? We are looking for Sequoia, S-E-Q-U-O-I-A. Two point toss up. To what state would you travel to visit Andrews Air Force Base, home base of the President's plane, Air Force One? What state? Tristan. Ohio. Sorry, no. Senator Bill? It's based in Maryland. Two point toss up. Might need your pens here. I want you to reduce this fraction. 28 over 42. 28 over 42. Smallest term. Trish, uh, Kylie. Two thirds. That's correct. Bonus question goes to Evergreen. Four U.S. state capitals were named after presidents. For two points each, name any three of them. Mm. Washington, D.C. Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Lincoln and... Lincoln is correct. Jefferson. More information. Uh, I don't know. Jefferson City. Jefferson City? Jefferson City. Oh. Not Jefferson. Washington, D.C. is incorrect, however. Uh, Centerville, can you give me one of the other two? Anything? They are Jackson, Jackson, Mississippi, and Madison, Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, four points for Evergreen. We'll go to a two-point toss-up. General Robert E. Lee commanded the Confederate forces at the Battle of Gettysburg in July 1863. Who commanded the Union Army? Rosie. Grant. Sorry, no. Senator? Anyone? It was General George Meade. Two point toss up. What major branch of zoology is concerned with the study of insects? J. Joel. Insectology. Sorry, no. Evergreen. Anyone? It is entomology. Two point toss up. In Norse mythology, the home of the gods was at Asgard. What was the home of, of the gods in Greek mythology? J. Joel. Olympus. 
Uh, Mon Olympus is correct. Bonus goes to Centerville. What movie musical features each of the following groups of songs? Ease on down the road, home, and don't nobody bring me no bad news. It's for your team. Uh, I forgot. Uh, oh, never mind. Anything? Oh, Wizard of Oz. Mm, no. So, um, no, sorry. Evergreen. You can defer. Is it the Wiz? Is it the Wiz? It is the Wiz. Not the Wizard of Oz, but the Wiz. Oh. Uh, Centerville, shall we dance and getting to know you? What movie? Musical. Don't have it? Evergreen. Um, Wicked? Uh, no, it's from The King and I. And Centerville, luck be a lady tonight. Evergreen? That is from Guys and Dolls. And that's the end of the round. Evergreen got two on that one, by the way, and that is the end of the round. Welcome back to South Louisiana Quiz Bowl. Evergreen leading Centerville as we continue on. Here are a few two-point toss-ups for you. Mr. Monroe's empty suitcase weighs four and three-quarter pounds. If the things he put in the suitcase weigh 17 and three-fifth pounds, what is the total weight of the suitcase after it's filled? Anyone? Give it to you. It's 22 and 7 twentieths. What country sent the first woman into space? Uh, Tristan. America. Sorry, no. Senegal. It was the Soviet Union. The contiguous U.S. states have four time zones. Name all four. Tristan. Mount time zone, central time zone, eastern time zone, and Pacific time zone. Correct. On which Hawaiian island is the state's capital city of Honolulu? Rosie. Oh, oh. Uh, that's correct. A ligament joins two bones. What anatomical structure links a bone and a muscle? J. Joel. A joint. Sorry, no. Evergreen? It is a tendon. Bronze is an alloy of what two metals? Tristan. Tin and iron. Sorry, no. Centerville? Here, tin and copper. How do you spell hemisphere? Hemisphere. J. Joel. M E. No, H E M I S P H E R E. That's correct. And that is the end of the round. Evergreen still leading as we come to our 60 second round. So, Centerville, you've got first choice of categories. You can have math, Africa, government, or sister cities. Math. So with math, okay. 60 on the clock. Good luck. Find two numbers whose sum is 50 and whose product is a maximum. Don't need to oh, ring in. Well, 25 plus 25 is That's 30 right. plus That's correct. What is 400% of 24? 400% of 24. Ninety-six. That's right. Multiply the following fraction. Two-thirds times three-fourths and reduce. <laughs> if you have an answer right now, I'll take it. <laughs> um, one half? One half is correct. You got all three for six points. All right. Evergreen. You can have Africa, government, or sister cities. Government. Go with government. All right. 60 on the clock. Many terms associated with government and politics begin with the letter C. I want you to give the C initial word or phrase that fits each definition. A document ratified June 21st. Constitution. That's right. Andrew Jackson's kitchen of advisors. Cabinet. That's right. Procedure to end the filibuster. Skip. 
northerner who went south after the Civil War. Um, Carpetbagger. That's right. Any person running for political office. Candidate. That's right. Tale that, tales that political hopefuls hope to hang on to. Skip. Adjustment, uh, adjustment of opposing principles such as that of 1850. Skip. Limitation of powers of three branches of government. Checks and balances. That's right. State of political and military tension between the USSR and the West. Cold War. That's right. Aliens get na naturalized to achieve this stature. Citizenship. 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 That's right. Procedure to end the filibuster. All right, you got seven right for 14 points. Centerville, procedure to end a filibuster. Skip. Uh, it's cloture. Tales that political hopefuls hang on to. Skip. Coattails. And adjustment of opposing principles, such as that of 1850. Skip. That is compromise. Compromise of 1850. No points for that. All right, let's take a moment and talk to our sponsors. We'll be right back with more South Louisiana Quiz Bowl. South Louisiana Quiz Bowl Online is made possible by the generous support of these sponsors. Lapco Manufacturing, Modern Industrial Workwear. Auctioner St. Mary, get the care you need close to home. Home of Paint and Industrial Supply, proud supporter of education in the Bayou region. Welcome back to South Louisiana Quiz Bowl, Evergreen leading Centerville as we come to our final round. It's two point toss up questions. Good luck. If I mention iambic pentameter, am I talking about a measuring instrument, a geologic theory, a poetic device, or an ancient language? Rosie. Poetic device. That's right. Henry VIII of England had six wives during his lifetime. Identify any two of them. Rosie. Par Anna of Cleves. That's correct. Uh, no, sorry, Centerville. Skip. You said Anna. It was Anne of Cleves. Christopher Columbus was born in what city? Tristan. Milan. Uh, incorrect, Centerville. He was born in Genoa, Italy. He was an Annapolis graduate, a U.S. Navy officer, a nuclear engineer, a successful farmer, governor of his home state, and president of the United States. Who was he? Colin. Bush. Sorry, no. Centerville. That was Jimmy Carter. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral having opposite sides parallel and congruent. An equilateral pa parallelogram with oblique angles is called what? Colin. Trapezoid? Sorry, no. Senegal? That is a rhombus. In John 11, we read about the man Jesus raised from the dead. What was his name? That was Lazarus. A man and his son were imprisoned by the king of Crete. To escape, they fashioned large wings of feathers and wax, but the son, Acre, Tristan? Icarus. Icarus? Icarus. Oh, you cannot help each other. Sorry, you're on your own on these. Uh, I'll finish it. Uh, fashioned large wings of feathers and wax, but the sun flew, the sun flew too close to the sun, and his wings melted, causing him to fall into the sea. I Identif identified this mythological pair. Icarus and... The other one is Daedalus. Don't forget to ring in. John Steinbeck's novel, The Grapes of Wrath, popularized the term Oki. And Oki was a migrant worker from what state? Helen. Oklahoma. That's correct. Arrange the following 20th century U.S. presidents in chronological order. Calvin Coolidge, Warren G. Harding, Herbert Hoover, Woodrow Wilson. Tristan. Woodrow Wilson. Harding, then Calvin, and then, um, what was the fourth one? Hoover. Hoover. That's correct. You got it correct. Who was the first secretary of the U.S. Treasury? Colin. Irene Hamilton. That's right. Early in his political career, Ronald Reagan was governor of what state? 
Tristan. California. That's correct. If a 150 foot, a 154 foot length of steel wire weighs 11 pounds, how much does 28 feet of the same wire weigh? 154 feet weighs 11 pounds. How much does 28 feet weigh? Anyone? It weighs two pounds. With what letter do the greatest number of English words begin? Tristan. T. Sorry, no. Centerville? J. Joel. Uh, a. Uh, no, it's S. The Geneva Conventions of the early 20th century laid out rules for modern warfare, including the rights of civilians, wounded soldiers, and prisoners. According to the Geneva Convention, what are the only three items of information military prisoners are required to give their captors? They are name, rank, and serial number, or service number. From what language do we get the word confetti? Tristan. Italian. That's correct. And that is the end of the game. Evergreen is our winner, and they will advance. We say goodbye to Centerville, but it's a young group. Lexi is the only eighth grader. You'll be playing varsity soon, right? Yes, sir. Great deal. All right, thank you for joining us. We'll see you again next week on South Louisiana Quiz Bowl. Good night. Good night.